Hello, welcome back to Color in Canvas. Uh, today I am doing a triptych Dutch pour. And this is uh, a commission piece. So these colors are chosen by my client to go with her beautiful, beautiful room. And what I have here are three 12 by 24 uh, Artist Loft level one canvases. These guys. And I've taped them and pinned them and we're ready to go to try out this Dutch pour. The colors that we're using are all custom blends for the most part. Uh, we have our white base coat, a custom mixed pink base coat, and when I say custom mixed, I just kind of started with this, you know, rose pink color, and I added a little bit of white, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, until I got to a color that I liked. And the pouring medium that I used is 50% uh, Floetrol, 30% glue all and 20% water. And to that, because this is going to be a fabulous piece, hopefully, uh, to that I added a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium, a little bit of GAC 800, a little bit of gloss varnish, because I really wanted these paints to be glossy and beautiful and bright. And they will be when they dry, very, very different than if you used just plain Floetrol. So that's the pouring medium that I've used in all of the paint. Uh, this is a custom blend of magenta, so I used some Amsterdam Primary Magenta and some Liquitex Basics. I'm not even going to pretend I know how to pronounce that. But some kind of magenta and it starts with a Q. So I will learn how to say that one day, but we don't need to know that right now. Uh, this is Liquitex Basics Gold. Just Liquitex Basics Gold and Pouring Medium, no other colors. And this one is 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. And this beautiful, beautiful pale shade is Rose Quartz by Decor Extreme Sheen. And this is some what I call blackish. This is black mixed with pearlescent medium mixed with a little bit of gold paint, metallic gold paint. So it's not quite black, but it's very shiny and very sparkly and a little bit off black, should we say. And those are the colors that we're using. So. With no further ado, let's get these base coats down and see what we can do. All right. So I am seriously fast forwarding this part. Uh, these are three large canvases. That is a lot of paint to get spread out. So this is, uh, I believe, 20 times the normal speed that it actually took to do this because otherwise you'd have been sitting here and watching for 12 minutes while I spread paint. And that was boring enough for me to do. You do not need 20 minutes of me spreading paint. So fast forwarding through this part, but take care when you're doing yours. Don't rush it. You know, do a good job, get it nice and smooth. And here we go. I now I'm gonna be drizzling the colors across, right down the middle in between the two colors. Now there's a reason that I'm drizzling these so lightly. The first one I was a little heavy handed on the magenta, but the rest of them I could have poured out of the cup across in the same fashion. And it depends on what kind of look you're looking for. Uh, I wanted the colors to be very wispy and light uh, when I blow this out. So I didn't put any big puddles of color down, but if you want a more dramatic look with bigger, you know, flashes of color, shall we say, then definitely drizzle down, you know, heavier bands of color than the little drizzles that I'm doing. But because this was a custom piece, this is what I was after on this. But you can do it any way you want. So remember, little drizzles, you're going to get, you know, little bursts of color. You know, big ribbons of uh, color drizzle down, you're going to get more pops of color in larger areas. So I am fast forwarding this entire rest of this video because it's really, really long. But you're going to get the idea of how it went anyways and how this was achieved. So I'll give you a little music to listen to and uh, you'll see that I had to blow it out twice. I added little extras, blew it out with a straw. You know, I had a particular vision for how it should look. Sometimes it all works after you, you know, blow the hairdryer the first time. Sometimes it doesn't. You can see that the paint was actually a little bit thicker than we do for a Dutch pour. I was struggling a little bit with the uh, white paint that Artist Loft changed the recipe to, so I was playing around with it. But still, this uh, consistency of paint worked for the uh, look that we were going for, so it was great. But maybe a little bit thinner next time for other pores and for your own. 
anyways, here, uh, enjoy the rest of the making of our lovely uh, magenta and pink triptych. Okay, so we're back. I just uh, sent a picture to the client and she loves it and I love it. And this is definitely by far the biggest thing that I've painted at one time. So yay, 
mission accomplished and thanks for watching and I'll show you a picture of them when they're dry in just a second. Be right back.